要帮你嘥太时间啊！你知啊，我 Vincent 咧就去同 Peggy 结婚噶啦。Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. 梗系啦，到时间啦，吓阿 Peggy 咧就系想准备啲婚礼，咁佢又唔叫 Vincent， 我会搵人车佢。啊，咁你啊唔介意啦嘛，吓 ？No problem at all, Mrs. Chu. 好，咁就好啦。啊，走走啦，唔该晒。我要多啲鸡，你哋攞多啲鸡俾我啊！啊，咪企喺度傻。Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. He won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, uh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no, my life. It wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with too, right? It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then what will you be? <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Way. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone for you. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. But you know her bark is worse than the bite. And I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! <laughs> That's worse than her bark for sure. Now she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted by the bark. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. My mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes too, and that drove her crazy. Not enough if I went out with a Chinese American girl, but a whitey. <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices more like. That too. the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower. And now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple one hundred thousand dollar. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh well, Wei. Come on, we can go now. Next, we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out. Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. 
Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? <sighs> yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. My mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. I'm sorry, Wei. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. Hey, isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Way slow down. <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Fast, fast, go fast. not pulling over. You're a gangster. Do something. Get out there and get him. Here. Here, take the wheel. Careful, don't hurt my cake. Don't worry. Get that van. Ah! My car, my car. Relax, I just want the cake. What? This is my cake! Mine! Look, I don't know what Dog Eyes is paying you, but it's not worth it for a wedding cake. I don't know no Dog Eyes! This is for my wedding! My wedding is going to be perfect, you hear? Perfect! You want this cake, you're going to have to cry for my dead fingers, you hear? Uh. <laughs> Tell Winston I got the cake. Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Wei. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh-oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that organ. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. <coughs> Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no, not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Wei. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work. Roth, right? It makes us a family, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man needs brothers, uncles, sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know, I could probably set you up if you want. <laughs> You're a good-looking man. <laughs> Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. 